Hello, my name is Tessa Asquith Lamb and I'm an artist. I work at the City Arts Centre and other venues running workshops and also leading described tours for the visually impaired. In today's workshop, Paper Garlands and Silver Wings, we're going to be making a collection of really lovely paper decorations for the festive season. So we're going to make a long string of paper leaves out of lovely silvers and grey paper. We're going to be making this little heart-shaped wreath of leaves behind me, a little set of wings with a heart in the middle, and my personal favourite, a little peg doll fairy. So if you've not made one of those for a while, I'm sure you'll really enjoy it. So I hope you'll join me for this workshop, which is sure to make you feel really festive. So the first project we're going to have a go at is making this paper wreath here like this. And the same materials that I'm going to run through for this are what you'll need also for the garland and also for the little wings that we're going to make. So I'll just run through the materials first. You're going to need a piece of cardboard that you've cut into a heart shape. So the easiest way to make a heart is to fold a piece of paper, draw half a heart, open it out like that, and then use that as a template to make your heart-shaped base like this. Use the thickest card that you can for that. You're also going to need some ribbon. I've got some nice silver ribbon here. I've got my glue and my scissors, and I've got a selection of different colours, grey and silvery papers here. You also might like to add some little bits of trim, things that you might have had lying about for a while that you might want to use up. So to start off making our wreath, we've got our heart-shaped cardboard base first, and I've cut a loop of ribbon and poked a f one of these paper fasteners through it like this. I'll show you that. And then I'm going to put that through a hole that I've made in the cardboard like this and then just bend those back. You could also glue this part. So that's given me my wreath ring and something to hang it up with which is really really secure. So now we need to think about making all the leaves. So I'll just put that to one side. Now I chose the design of an oak leaf for this. So what to do is get a small piece of paper, fold it in half like this and then draw half your leaf shape. So an oak leaf is made up of these kind of lobed shapes that gradually narrow towards the top like this. So once you've got that drawn out, you're going to cut this out and this is going to be the template that you use to cut all your other little leaves. Cut that like this. So that's going to be our template and then you're going to get some of your um, silvery paper now if you've got quite thin paper you might get away with cutting two at once if you if you're good fold that in half and you can then put that around your piece of paper like this and either just cut straight onto it like that or you can give yourself a guideline to draw around like this so we cut that out. Now you're going to need quite a lot of leaves for these projects. So just really sort of enjoy all the different kinds of paper you can find around the house. You might find some old wrapping paper. I like using old origami paper and um, different kinds of sort of drawing paper in nice colours. So there's our first leaf. Now you can see that because I've done that on the fold, it's already got that kind of rib down the middle of it so I fold that the other way like this and then I'm just going to put a couple of little folds in to give it a little bit more of a kind of natural leafy shape so I'm just nipping those little bits of the leaves like that and you can see that already looks really lovely and like a little silvery leaf so like I say you're going to need quite a lot of these and I've got a little dish here with lots of these leaves that I've made already. Can you see that I've used different colours? I've used kind of a pale blue and a silver and this is a kind of paper that's kind of two-tone, three-tone. So add all those into there. And these are what we're going to add to our wreath. So I bring back in my wreath heart shape and then you're going to just 
lay these out now when you're laying them out in your pattern the best way to do it is start at this bottom end so I'm going to put that one there and just sort of imagine where I'm going to put them before I glue them and just play around with which looks nice which sort of pattern looks good just sort of lay a few on and it'll change as you glue them but it's quite nice to just fiddle around at this time and see how many you're going to need there we go so probably about that many I think to kind of give it a good sort of coverage like that so I'm going to stick these on just one at a time and what I'll do is I'll start the sticking and then I'll come back when I've stuck them all on so give them a little nip just to make sure they're looking quite nice and leafy and put some glue on the back you might want to use a bit of a stronger glue and glue guns are quite handy for this as well but this is um, quite strong paper glue I'm using like this and so the next one I'm covering over the base of that one and every now and then I might go in a slightly different direction I might go this way a little bit like this and then maybe like that so I'll come back when I've finished sticking all those on so here is my finished paper wreath on a card backing and you can see I finished it off just here with a bow and a little button just to finish off where the loop is attached so I think that looks really sort of fresh and crispy and icy and it's all ready to be hung up now you can use a very similar method of making these leaves to make a garland like this one and you can see this has got lots of nice different colours of paper in different sort of silvery colours and golds and this is a nice sort of project to use up all your little bits of paper so what you do is you get a length of string and I've put um, a little ring a little loop on the end here and you start by sticking pairs of leaves that are the same on either side along that string and run your fingers down them to give them a kind of ridge down the middle like this so you can see that I've just started adding some on there so the next one that I add on will be maybe this one so you can see that I've cut out two shapes that are exactly the same so that when they fit together they're going to fit together perfectly put some glue down the middle like this and then just lay the string across it and have them all sort of growing in the same direction if you see what I mean and lay that on top if for some reason they don't quite line up you can always trim them a bit later but there's something quite nice about kind of running your fingernails down that ridge down the middle to get those shapes like this so you can see that that's going to make a really really lovely little garland I'm going to come back and show you one more idea similar to this and then we'll move on to our angels or fairies so after you've finished your garland you might like to have a go at making some little paper wings and I've started with a background shape like I did the wreath made out of thick card and I've attached a ribbon in the same way and for this I've just got lots of little feather shapes and these are made in the same way as the leaf shapes but you're just going to cut a pointy leaf shape like this and then just snip like so to make the little feathery edges like this and then just pinch it into your feathery shape and then those are going to be glued onto your background so you're going to start at the bottom and glue them on so that they overlap so you might want to plan this out a little bit first and just check you like the way it's looking like this and then you can finish it off with some little decorative details at the end so that gives you the kind of general idea of it and then I've got one here 
that I finished. And you can see that this one I've used some silver rickrack and I've got all my little feathery shapes and I'll just add just a couple of extra bits on there. And I've added a few little um, gemstones and I've just put finished it off with a love heart like this. So the last thing we're going to make is our peg doll fairy. So here she is. So these can be as simple or elaborate as you like, but the basic way of making the actual sort of doll is as follows. You're gonna need a peg, an old fashioned peg like this, a pipe cleaner, some scraps of paper, and um, some little bits of fabric and ribbon, a little bit of wool for her hair, and some tape and just any kinds of bits of trim that you've got lying around. So one nice little thing to do is if you just sort of paint the top of the peg first before you put on the face and then just marking on, I'd keep it really, really simple. Think of it like those little Victorian wooden dolls. You just want two little dots for the eyes, maybe a little smile and maybe get some pink and just give her some little rosy cheeks. Just make it really, really simple. If you try and make it sort of over elaborate, they can look a bit strange. So there's a little face. So the next thing to do is to put some hair on her. So what I've done is I've got a little bit of wool here and I've just tied it in the middle to make almost a little wig for her. A bit of glue on that. And then I'm going to stick that on her head. Like this. And you can always give her a haircut later if it looks a bit unruly. The next thing to do is get your pipe cleaner, like this, and lay it over the front of the doll, and then bend it all the way round, like this, to the front. And that's going to be her arms. Now, of course, that's going to move a lot. So what you need to do is get a little bit of this is washi tape, but you could just use some masking tape. And you're just gonna tape that around her, just to give her a little bit of security so her arms don't sort of drop down, like that. So that's your basic doll. Next thing to do is make her some clothes. So here's a little bit of ribbon that I've just put two little holes in and those go over her arms like this and that'll just make a nice little top for her and again you can just secure the back with a little bit of tape because that's going to be hidden by the wings so let's just bring that round and tape that down so she's got a little bit of a top on now and you've got her arms now the skirt it's nice to use a little bit of tissue paper or crepe paper or you could use actual fabric like however you've really got and just lay that around your doll i've given it a bit of a pleat beforehand like this lay that down and again i'm just going to use a little bit of tape it's just the simplest thing to just hold it in place and you can sort of make it go out a little bit like that and then the last thing to do of course is her wings i've cut some wing shapes out of kind of gray paper here but you could use silvery paper or anything you like i'm just going to put some glue on the back and add that on there and obviously she'll need a little bit of time to dry and then you can always add a few sort of little crystals if you like whatever sort of trim you've got just make her a little bit more sparkly like that so these are really lovely things just to sort of sit and make and you can like i say you can make them really quite elaborate or you can make them more sort of simple whatever you like Let's add a few more little these are so fiddly pieces like this Maybe another over here. There we go. So there is a little peg doll fairy. And I'm going to show you just a couple more that I've made here. 
this is a little she looks almost like a kind of Shakespearean heroine I've got the one that I showed you at the beginning that's got these silvery wings and I've got a really quite an elaborate one here and she's got a kind of crepe paper dress like this so they can be really really elaborate but have some fun playing around with them and making different outfits for them and I'll show you all my finished things shortly so here's my finished decorations I've got my love heart wreath made out of paper oak leaves I've got my lovely garland strung along my mantelpiece I've got my winged heart made out of all that cut silver paper and then over here finally I've got my little peg doll fairies so I hope you enjoy having a go at making these and I hope that you have a really really lovely festive season Thank you.